Hi everybody, welcome back to the MAC channel. My name is Bradley Miller and today we're talking about National Lipstick Day. Here at MAC, we're celebrating being the number one lipstick destination in the world. We couldn't have done it without all of you. So today I'm gonna to be showing you some of my favorite shades and tips and tricks on how to get some of the perfect lip looks. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so before any lipstick application, I always apply MAC Prep and Prime Lip. This product is lipstick insurance. It smooths out your lips, it hydrates and nourishes your lips so that your lipstick looks fresh all day long. Okay, so before I apply any lip liner, I take a touch of MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation over the top of Prep and Prime Lip to help even out the lip color and also add a nice matte base for the lip liner to grab onto. So now that I've applied a little bit of powder, I'm going to take Whirl Lip Pencil, and I'm going to use this to define the lip line, and then I'm also going to use it to fill in my lip color to add a nice, even tone. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Flesh Pot Lipstick and I'm gonna apply it just in the center of my lips to add a little bit of dimension and to make my lips look a little bit more pouty. Flesh Pot is the perfect pale nude and it's a satin formula. So it has the wearability of a matte lipstick, but it has a slight glow as you can see that makes my lip look super pouty. So this lip is my go-to for almost every day, but I'm gonna show you two more of my favorite shades. Okay, so now that my lips have been reprimed and powdered, I wanna talk to you about our line of Love Me lipsticks. The idea of these lipsticks is all about self-love and self-care, and right now in the world, we all need to take a minute for ourselves. So my favorite shade in this lineup is called Shamelessly Vain. It is the perfect shade for summer, and it is this beautiful orange red. I wanna show you the amazing saturation and color payoff from this lipstick with just one swipe. So with just one swipe, I got this beautiful, opaque, gorgeous orange red. And with just a few more swipes, I will have full coverage all over. And there you go, with just a few more swipes, I have this gorgeous lip. If you're like me and sometimes forget your lip liner, what you can do is take the pointed edge of your bullet and use this as you would a lip liner to help refine and perfect your lip line. And you would never know that I didn't have a lip liner. Okay, so before we end this video, I have to show you my ultimate favorite lipstick. So the last and final lipstick I wanna show you today is MAC Ruby Woo. She is the most iconic MAC shade and the number one selling lipstick in the world. She is the maddest of mattes and the truest of reds and feels incredible on the lip. So my lips have already been primed and powdered like I showed you before, and I'm going to use Cherry Lip Pencil to define my lip line. I like to start with my cupid's bow and create a nice definition and then work my way around the mouth. Doing a red lip is a little bit more specific, so you wanna take your time and really make sure you're using that lip pencil to get the perfect shape that you want. So a great tip that I like to share is start with an X in your cupid's bow and then connect your corners to the top. And by doing that, you get to really control your symmetry to make sure everything is nice and balanced. And once I have the top lip on, I smack my lips together and you can see that a light faint red line has been transferred to my bottom lip and all I do is trace it. Perfect. So now that I have a general idea of the shape that I want, I take the lipstick and fill it in. And there you have it, Ruby Woo and Cherry Lip Pencil. 
Now what I like to do is add a little bit of gloss to add that beautiful high shine to this red lip. MAC Clear Lip Gloss is the highest shine and it gives me that vinyl glossy patent finish that I love. Take the clear lip gloss on the bottom lip, right along the edge, and then very gently start to rub my lips together to transfer the gloss to the upper lip. You can never go wrong with MAC Clear Lip Gloss. It is a staple in my makeup kit and you can use it in so many different ways. And there you have it, Ruby Woo with just a little bit of gloss on top. Ah, wearing a red lip always makes me feel gorgeous and you will too when you wear it. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I had a blast showing you my favorite shades. Remember to like and subscribe below so that you are notified anytime we drop new content. Today was all about National Lipstick Day, but we couldn't just decide on one 24 hour period to celebrate with you. So all month long, we are gonna be dropping new and fresh content for you to see. Again, thank you so much. And remember, makeup is all about having fun. Bye everybody, until next time.